Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello guys, welcome to the channel Hope you're having yourself a wonderful day In today's video, we'll be reacting to the 2017 UCI Track, uh, track Cycling World Championship As suggested by Noor uh, Sazeli Noor, thank you very much for taking the time to uh, suggest uh, this video We're going to be getting started with the video in just a couple of minutes For those of you who are new and who happen to come across this channel and this video for the first time i'd like to take a moment and welcome you guys to the channel I upload videos every day so if you guys like the content as well as the channel and want to be part of this journey please consider subscribing to the channel and turning notification on so you're notified when a new video is uploaded stay tuned guys we'll be right back Welcome back guys, we're gonna get started with the video momentarily and at the end of the video, I'll be sharing with you my observation and reaction, so please make sure you stay until the end. Now let's get started. To get underway. Matthew Glatzer, silver medalist in the sprint in the World Championships before. Wang has been trying to win this title for years. He was bronze medalist in Rio, bronze medalist for the last two years. This is a massive opportunity for a Wang to win the world title. And we get going under the whistle this time. Now, if you're trying to tell Barbeck and Kellerman apart, Barbeck has got a yellow stripe down the front of his helmet, you can see. He's the rider at the back of the strip, and also Kellerman is wearing yellow shoes. Neon yellow shoes, and you're trying to pick them out. There we go, perfect. On the front then is Jochen uh, of Germany. A little bit of a gap back to Puerta. Uh, Behind him is a Wang. A Wang has let the gap go to Glatzer. Glatzer looks keen, moves up on the outside. Three laps of racing to go. They're all going to be pretty tight together. This is a big, big moment for these riders. Glatzer goes to the front very early. Two laps to go. Oh, a big move there. And it comes from uh, Kellerman. Kellerman shoving Puerta out the way. Puerta waiting to pounce. Glatzer is there. Glatzer gives it some gas. Puerta and Awang go around the outside. Awang's just going to bounce his way off them. Glatzer is boxed in. A Wang is now going for this. A Wang is going for the medal. A Wang is going to be the world champion. A Wang wheelies across the line to take the world title. His signature wheelie. He finally has taken the rainbow bands. Azulazni Wang of Malaysia takes the world Kirin title. Oh, he's going to celebrate this all night. What a great win by a Wang. He so desperately tried to win this title. It's so well deserved. He can't believe it. He's never going to forget this Hong Kong track. He won that by an absolute mile. He realized it was the big moment. He didn't have Purvis, he didn't have Islas to worry about. He just had to ride his own race. And he gave that as much gas as he possibly could. He comes off the shoulder of Fabio and Puerta. Glatzer is boxed in. A Wang then just gives it absolutely everything he can. And no one is able to go with him. He just drives for home. Puerta, I think, is going to take the silver medal. And behind will be Barbeck. 
Glates are just pushed out of it, but a Wang wins by maybe three or four bike lengths. Pulls the wheelie. That's his trademark. Stunning, stunning race. Here we are on the camera, all the riders fighting for position. Kellerman there with the yellow stripe on the helmet, Barbeck alongside him. Sorry, yellow helmet, Barbeck, Kellerman alongside him. But a Wang, just look at the speed. No one was going to get anywhere near him. Wow, congratulations to Malaysia. I believe his name, the brother's name is Awang. Uh, amazing. I, the race started with uh, one of the guys being, I think, on an electric bike. So that was pretty cool. He was just riding, serious. And then they were just biking behind him. He wasn't doing nothing, which was nice. And then they started going, like, not too fast. They were going. And then I think the last three laps, they started pushing. And then the last two laps, and obviously the final lap, it was crazy and the Malaysian uh, brother actually like Spolna, he just bolted it and the guys couldn't catch up and he also did like a little bit of uh, a wheelie a little bit just uh, close to the finish line which is amazing it was really really cool um, these bikes look just beautiful and then the track is like a little bit uh, tilted to the side and it's just amazing like how they're able to pass each other I guess they're going so fast like they kind of go you know um, on a tilt which is uh, amazing and even when you look at their helmets it has like a little bit of like a I guess like it's pointy a little bit probably uh, uh, due to uh, aerodynamics it helps them probably to go a little bit faster but amazing amazing congratulations to Malaysia good job guys it's really really nice to see you know you guys doing amazing in these it's amazing uh, to see that you know you guys are uh, winning these competitions and uh, basically in, they're showcasing uh, their skills as well as putting Malaysia uh, out in the world uh, stage so outstanding guys hope you guys enjoyed it as much as uh, I did if you did please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and if you want me to react to another video please put in the comment section below as always Terimak I say thank you very much guys for all your love and support I hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day take care of yourself and your family inshallah I'll see you guys tomorrow take care and wassalam